adrenaline inducing, fast paced, competitive, and barking mad. Yep, that's a pun I intended. Now, these are all words that describe a sport that I cannot wait to try. Big Fred off the line! This is bike draw. Now, a lot of you probably haven't heard of bike drawing before, so let me give you a quick rundown. Now, bike drawing actually originated from traditional slow sledding mushing, which is being towed by dogs like these on snow. Now, uh, when the conditions weren't good for snow and sleds, they actually turned to wheels, especially bikes. Now, I'm here today at Charlton Park to find out more about a sport that I don't know anything about, but I'm very excited to try. We're gonna catch up with some of the competitors and even some of the dogs. Now, I reckon I actually bought the wrong trousers for today. I'm gonna to have a lot of paw marks on these. I wanna find out about the people and the competitors who race these dogs, but also learn about the stories the dogs have themselves. Now, we're gonna catch up with some, some truly Truly great in the sport, uh, Vicky Pullen and also Bex, and uh, find out how they got into the sport and the story behind it. I'm Vicky Pullen, and I've been racing sled dogs for about seven, eight years now, and basically uh, got into the sport by mistake. Uh, when I was 18, I went to Canada and did a husky ride and just fell in love with the dogs and, and everything about working with them in the Arctic. Um, I went to Alaska, ran sled dogs in Alaska, worked with 150 dogs doing commercial sled dog tours. It was amazing. And then uh, eventually bought my own husky when the time was right. And I used to run him on the bike. And then I set up a business called Arctic Quest and I do sled dog tours in the UK. So I own 36 dogs. And then a couple of years later, I, I started racing and really enjoyed it. Um, I think it made me a better dog person. I learned a lot. I, well, I'm still learning all the time. And uh, yeah, my life is basically sled dogs. That's, that's pretty much all I do. There's not much time for anything else. The relationship and the trust that you have between your dog working them is phenomenal. Like, I don't think it's like any other. Um, it's just phenomenal, that bond that you get. I mean, that's why we all get a dog, because we want another best friend. And I think it just takes it to the next level. So today we're racing at Charlton Park with NATB. Um, it's a dry land event, so it's running with your dog canny cross or biking with your dog. Um, we've also got the teams here so you can run your, your three-wheeled carts up to six dogs on this trail. It's a really technical trail. It's probably one of the most technical trails that, that the UK has to offer. So this is definitely something that I've never experienced before, but... The atmosphere of the dogs barking and the competitors. I mean, if you've ever seen someone getting excited about before a race, then this is, this is it. And there they go. So when it comes to bike during in this whole world that I'm really getting used to, I'm actually finding out that it's really encompassing from a whole load of different ages and genders. And I've caught up with Daisy, who is actually racing today. Are you excited? Yeah. And so what category are you racing in? Um, the canny cross, is yeah. that right? And so what happens there? Um, so you... S I'm setting off with two other people because there's not many in our like group. And I'm running with Sky Blackter in the cage with the other dog. And I really like Canny Cross. It's really fun and you you have a connection with the dog. And when you when you run with your dog, you can find a connection in between the you and the dog and they trust you. Like Sky behind there, yeah. she, she trusts me and I trust her yeah. as well. 
and, and the sport's really good. And w w would you say this is something that other kids could get into? Yeah. Yeah? Lots of other people can get into it. Now we've just spoken to Daisy, this is Daisy's race. She's off with her dog Sky, and I reckon she's gonna do pretty well. Right, here we go, 10 seconds. You ready, Daisy? Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> That's the cutest thing. <laughs> that is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. What better way to teach your kid to look after your dog than to race with it? What more to say? In terms of growth of the sport, like things like park run and social media has really promoted the sport in a really, hopefully in a really good light and, and got it out there. I think also people are generally focusing on well-being and getting out and being fit. And I think it's something that you can do with your dog is a really real bonus for you and your dog. There's no money in our sport. It is purely done for the passion. And there's pros and cons to that, I think, because money brings education, and I think that's a really good thing, but also we are doing it for the love of the dogs, and I think it's really important that we don't ever forget that, even though, you know, I race at a really high level, and I'm, I'm really competitive, but I really care about my dogs, and that comes first, and I think that's something that I hope the sport never loses sight of, and I don't think it will. I think the people that you meet today and the people that you see in the sport the welfare is really top of the agenda and that, that's why we do what we do because the dogs love it. They love it so much. Um, you've only got to see them run to see how much they enjoy it. So I think that's a really strong part of the sport. As you're all probably aware, when it goes into dog sled racing, you're going to expect the husky and you're going to imagine riding behind a sled on the snow. So I've caught up with Yorkie, who actually races six dogs. Now, all these dogs are his. I kind of want to just get an idea of what it's like to kind of look after a pack of dogs like this and how they how they work in a team and how they work in a pack because ultimately Huskies are pack dogs, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. Um, well, we, we really started out with uh, just one dog and then gradually over a period of time we ended up with uh, three of our own dogs, uh, Alaska and Tane and Saskia over the back there and uh, from there on in we went into uh, taking in rescue dogs. And then what's it like um, just being being pulled by a pack oh, of six the, huskies. Just the, the adrenaline and stuff like that, the camaraderie, and also to, to have the dogs as well, you know? Yeah, it's they're, like camaraderie. Yeah, it is, yeah, you know. They're not just there for racing, there are pet dogs as yeah. well, you know yeah. I mean? Aspen, she's a rescue dog, come from Saints Rescue, yeah. so uh, she, she's a lovely girl. Some people, because I'm competitive, they think, oh, you're a medal chaser, etc." I do this for them. If we win medals, it's a bonus. And if ever I show anyone my collection of medals, I'm proud because that's what me and my dogs have achieved together. It's not about, oh, we need to do this race and we need to win that, that's all we're living for. It's, it's not that at all. It's the partnership, the building that relationship up enough so you can be as successful as you can together. I can't do this without them. So. If I have a bad day or I'm feeling down or I'm just grumpy, you go out and you run your dogs, you come back in and it's nothing matters. You're like, yeah, that's why didn't I do that a couple of hours ago? It just, it's good for the soul. I really believe that. Now with the racing over and the winners announced, Vicky mentioned that she was running the dogs again tomorrow. Well, so I asked if I could give it a go. So it's the next morning and I've just had my mind blown from yesterday's event, so I'm hoping well, if I bring my bike along, I get the opportunity to get behind the dogs. So, here it goes. Um, Blake, thanks for letting me use your bike. Wow, what are those? British weather is its finest, right? This is definitely a winter sport, isn't it? Definitely a winter sport. Weekend didn't put you off, didn't freeze too much there? No, it nearly did, but I'm back for more. Yeah. 
Amazing. Uh, Hank, let's show you the basics. Get you all kitted up and uh, show you what we need to put on the bike. Give you a quick lesson. We'll start with a nice mellow dog. Ease you into it gently. Labrador. No. <laughs> That's nice a good yeah. Um, And then, yeah, we'll build up and hopefully give you a fast sprint sled dog and see what you're made of. I'm a bit nervous, I'm going to be honest, but um, I better get kissed up because white trainers in this weather isn't going to go too well. <laughs> good look, mate. Good look. <laughs> I didn't learn from last time. <laughs> right, time to get kitted up. Let's do it. Woo! So the weather is truly coming in now. We're going to embrace it. We're going to hit the course, aren't we, Vix? And, uh, and get a feel of where I'm going to be going. I guess that's the main plan, isn't it? Yeah, it's really important to always check the trail out with the dogs first, make sure it's safe, make sure you know where you're going, um, and then we'll add the dogs to it after. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous to the dogs. This bit I think I'm fine with, though. Cool. We'll see, though. I'd be worried if you can't do <laughs> <Yeah>. this bit. <laughs> right, let's do it. So I guess now's the opportunity I get to meet my first dog. Right, so, ah. so Hank, this is Bomber. Hey Bomber, how's it going? He's a European sled dog. Yeah. He's about three or four. He won't go too fast, but he'll give you a good pull. So how do I tell them to stop, go steady, right, left? So he knows English command, so he knows right, left. Okay, steady that makes easy slow. for me. Yeah. Steady or easy, yep. and then slow right down. And then how do you tell them when to go? Literally say, go. Go, and then I just and hold on. And don't say that word until you're ready. Okay. Yep. So, uh, so let's get him attached and off we go. This is get, genuinely, I'm actually quite nervous for this because you're getting attached to uh, a fairly athletic animal. With <laughs> so, a mind of their own. They yeah. definitely have a mind of their own. Right, well, here he goes. Wish me luck. Right, bomber. Shit, you, you. Go, oh, there you go. Big sprint off the line! Well done, Bobber! Woo! Good boy, Bobber. Right! Easy. Got some speed up there. So first go, I've got to say, that's quite exhilarating. I'm so used to just using my own brute force, but then having an extra pair of legs or an extra pair of four legs, <laughs> an extra two pairs of legs. Um, uh, yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? It's you get a proper thrill. You get properly addicted to it. Yeah. What's, what's next? Faster dog? Let's Try do again, up to you. Let's do it. <laughs> Gotta say, Bomber was awesome, but the sport is next level. I didn't think I would get such an adrenaline rush. I kind of want a fastest dog now. <laughs> um, I'm going to get you Mav. Mav's top three in the world. He's pretty rapid. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what you got, yeah? I, I, I hope I can hold on. <laughs> yeah. Let's go I hope you Mav. can do him justice yeah. with pedaling her. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is Mav, top three in the world. <laughs> He's a greaster and he is literally I mean, he's solid muscle. Oh. It's lucky I'm a dog person. <laughs> you, you ready to ride with me, buddy? You ready to ride with me? Here it goes. Me and Mav. Let's see if I can give him as much as he's gonna give me. Right, you ready? Three, two, two. one. Go, Mav. Hop. Here we go, oh, that's a big start. Whoa, slippery over here! Good boy, Mav. Straight, Mav. Let's go, Mav. Yeah, Mav! Just want to say a massive thank you, Vix, for the well, bringing me up and letting me use Mav, but what a dog. Thank you. I loved it. How do you think I got on, though? Um, I think Mav ran really nice to you. That's credit to you. Um, you can't just chuck a dog on with anybody. I think you, you've got to have that relationship. The dog's got to want to do it for you. So I think 
that, that sums it up. You don't need me to comment on that. I think the fact that he ran his heart out for you says that you did a great job. Yeah. That, that's it. Um, I guess that's the that's what means the most, isn't it? Where you kind of like feel like you've got the both best out of both of you. Yeah, I, I think that's the you've really captured the kind of element of the sport that we all find so special and it is that bond that you have with the dog. Yeah. So I think the fact that you've touched on that today, my job's done. Yeah. Like that that's the biggest thing. And a lot of people will say, you know, it might be a bit cruel to kind of like be pulled along by your dogs, but in actual fact, I didn't find that at all. I feel like the dogs are dying to go. As soon as they feel like they've got the harness on and they're attached to you, you already got that bond and they just want to work for you, don't they? It's, it's, it's actually kind of beautiful to watch and witness and uh, even better to even have a go at. So there we have it. I have had my first go at bike during. Absolutely loved it. He is amazing. And I think if anyone wants to learn to contact you and get Bomber <laughs> on board, because you are an incredible dog. What's the plan for you next? Um, nationals is the next end of Feb. Fingers crossed for that. Well, you did well at last race, so I'm sure you'll yep. smash it. Carry on. Uh, Vix, as always, thank you so much for involving me, getting GCN to come and help cover it. All the best for your next steps. Uh, if I wanted to go into a next race, then what do I do? Call me. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll sort it out. Let's do it. Cool, sounds good. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, as I'm sure you probably have, then all you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below if you'd like to see more of Bike Jury. I'm hoping you're gonna say yes, because I want another go. And we'll see you, well I will, in the next video.